just offer just a talking. suggestion? Sure. Which may, if something makes it clear for me is when you show the site with the question mark slash TP equals one, mm -hmm. it shows the template mm -hmm. and the positions where these blocks on the site are. Mm -hmm. And when we look at our site, we see a left hand column template that's empty because we haven't put anything in there. Mm -hmm. That might be an events calendar or something like that. Our stuff that we're working on is all in this section called banner outline. That's where it's, or it's underneath that, whatever that area is. Yeah. And so what you're talking about is the formatting of that section, that one little section, mm -hmm. as opposed to the template right. controls the formatting of the global picture. Right. So we Does will fill up we'll no. fill up one of those spaces and we'll see if that gets us a little bit closer. We're gonna create a menu over here. Okay, one second. Um, so I just put something in the left-hand uh, module position of this template, okay? And here it's showing up. It's a copy of the main menu. It's the same thing It's up here. I just put it on the left. Um, this, this template has a left-hand module position, so you can put things in the left-hand module and they'll show up. Without adding a third column. Right, it has nothing to do with those columns. Right. The columns are just this section here. It's just like the, it's, it's, it's called like the, com the content component of Joomla. It's what controls the content itself. And it lets you do very limited formatting, which I know can get confused with templates, but it just lets you d choose to have more than one article in a row, for example. OK, um, step back for a moment. The only reason why we brought this up is because we had a question as to when you have two articles, how you can display them. And the, the case where it's helpful, if you have a news site, and if you have 10 pieces of news to display, then to give a user an option to click on one of these, you display small snippets, and then if you had more text, it would be read mm -hmm. more here. Does that make sense? For your purposes, and remind me what your website is for. For a personal chef company. Personal chef company. For your purposes, most probably, this is way too complex. All you need is one article, and tomorrow we'll go on the back end, we'll change this to one article one more time tomorrow. So she will Okay, so I can go into main menu again, and if I just wanted to have one article, then I can just say, you know. Change the type. Well, I, I, check, I can change the type to just be an article layout and choose a single article. And then you don't have to worry about any of this. Okay, so then there's no columns, there's nothing. All you do is put one article in there, click on save, refresh, and what the heck. Dude. Uh, default, you have a default Okay, right, because it when you when you change, no, I don't. And just change the uh, content into a number of screen. It doesn't make any difference. No, that has nothing to do with it. I'm going to put it back to the way it was. One second. Sorry about that. But um, regardless of what I just showed you, yes, you can have just one article on your homepage, and we can go over that at a break if you like. Um, okay. Okay. So we've been over the front page manager, um, which is how you change how things display on the front page. Okay, and we also went over um, how to create articles, how to edit articles. Does anyone have any questions about what we're doing so far? This is a good time for questions. Fine time. Things you've been worrying about. Everyone seems very calm. Okay. So we're going to go into menus a little bit more. We're also going to go into modules a little bit more. And then um, at some point, we're just going to kind of set you free. And um, we want you to go ahead on your own, create categories that you need, create articles that you need with the content that you have with you, if you have any content or sample content, and create menu items. And then and kind of set up your site the way you want to set it up. And we're going to go around and help. Okay. So modules are fun. Okay. If you go to extensions, everybody go to extensions, go to module manager. It's going to show you all of the modules that are installed right now. I've been in here. Only one of them is actually enabled, and that's the main menu on the top. 
But let's say, um, and these are not very useful because these are all linked to calendars that we're not even using yet. So let's, let's create a new one. Go to click on New, and then click on Custom HTML. And this is when you're creating a module, which has your own text or image in it, just like a very simple custom module of your own stuff that you want to put, let's say, in the left position. Okay. So we can give this a title. We can choose whether you want to show the title on the front end or not, whether it's enabled. I, I clicked on Module Manager and New. Yeah. And then what do I do next? Do I click next? Custom HTML. Custom HTML, yeah. This is a type of module that you can create. Can, can you give us a big picture of what this is so we can customize it for our own thing so we don't have to go back and fix it? Um, what this is, this is basically a box that's going to show up on the left-hand side in the left-hand column with whatever text or image we put into it. That's okay. all it's going to do. It's very yeah. simple. Okay. So we're going to, we, you can give it a title. You have to give it a title, but you can choose whether or not to display the title. Okay? Don't worry about the module class suffix. Ignore that. You can have it appear on every page, which is the default, or you can have it appear only on certain pages, which is a fun thing you could do. And then here we have custom output. And this is where you put in whatever you want to show in that particular module position. In this case, I'm going to put an image in. See. I'll put that key in again, why not, right? So. And let's say I want that image to be a link to something. We didn't go into how to create images that are links. You click on the image. Does everyone have an image or something or text in that box? Almost. Okay. Okay, so all I did so far is I went to custom HTML, I created a new module there. I gave it a title. I said I'm going to show the title. I left it to show on all pages. I didn't change anything there. And I inserted an image, in this case a key. Although, you insert whatever you want, text or image is fine. And now I want to create this a link. Okay? So we didn't look before at links, so let's click on the, your image or your text. If it's text, select the text. If it's image, just click on the image. And this is the button you want. It's right next to the image editor. You want to click on insert edit link. It looks like a chain with like a little green thing attached to it. Does everyone see the insert edit Im link? Okay. So click on that. In this case, I want my key to, to link to the New York Times. This is an external URL. This is a URL of a different website altogether. No relationship to us. But you can do that if you want. Okay. So I did that. For target, I'm going to say open it in a new window. If a website is totally not related to you, usually you'll open it in a new window and people will have your window still open in the back. Okay. Then I'm going to click on insert. And you can do that with text. So I'm going to type in some text here to show you the same thing. I typed in the text. I highlight it. <coughs> I click on Insert Edit Link. I choose what I want it link to. Say I want to have that in a new window, and I Insert. Now I'm going to click on Apply and see what that looks like on the front end. If you wanted that picture up above next to Zacchio properties, um, we're not manipulating that area at no. this point. No. Um, we can, but we're not. You can, but you're not. And the area that we want, that's that area is identified as what? It's not a module position. Which is, it's quite, it's, it's a bit tricky to edit it. I, I can explain to you, but basically it involves taking the image that's already there, and you have to upload your own image to replace what's there in the file. It's not something, it's not part of the modules, it's not part of any of this. Okay, so um, the image area that relates to the very top bar, um, I guess. This is actually part of the template, um, so you basically need to change it in the template itself, which is why we're using text right now, because it's kind of a pain. Okay, 